Hello lovebirds, and welcome back to Kiro's Workshop. I'm back from a very long winter, almost spring break, and just in time for a super cool Valentine's Day collaboration. This Valentine's special is very sweet, kinda literally. The theme was World Pastries. Our lovely host Celine, alongside Enchantirium, Josephine Creatures, Case Oak Factory, Mr. Super Customs, Valkyrie's World, and me, accepted the mission to create dolls inspired by a regional dessert. For this theme, I decided to pay homage to my grandfather's Hungarian roots. So I chose Pishkotatekersh, a rolled sponge cake filled with different delicious flavors. And as you can appreciate on the picture, I chose a wiped cream and strawberry filling. So grab your spoons and forks, and let's begin! For this project, I decided to mix it up a little bit and chose a Rainbow High Robbie Anderson doll. Since I'm keeping the original eyes, I just covered them with tape to protect them from the sealant. Since this face is very round, I'm making sure to give them some depth by contouring the bridge of the nose, cheeks, and jawline. I'm now adding brows with red pastel with my trusty small flat brush. I'm really into drawing straight brows lately. I must admit that personally I wasn't very into this doll line, because of the proportions. I'm more into taller dolls with stylized features, and those with huge circular and more chartly looking faces are just not my cup of tea. Until I saw the amazing work that Aggressive Barbie from Instagram did with them. By swapping their bodies with Barbies, Kirby Barbies, and this is Superhero Girls, I really fell in love with the proportions. So this doll is actually hybrid, I decided to give them a purple top made to move Barbie body. Next I'm drawing the corner of the lips with brown, and then with red I'm beginning to draw the outside of the lips. To snatch her nose a little bit, I'm adding some shadow on the bottom of the tip. And now to begin the makeup, first I'm adding a graphic pink liner on the bottom lid. And then, as usual, draw the waterline with sienna. With brown, I'll draw a very sharp wing liner. Off camera, I'll fill the lips with red. I added two pieces of tape underneath both wings, and now I'm starting to build up the eyeshadow. First, light brown as a base color. And to give it some dimension, I'll add dark brown near the lash line. And as always, give this girl some life by blushing the nose and cheekbones. And then, time to frost her face by adding the first layer of mica powder as highlight. And now, it's time to darken the liner with black pencil. And fill the brows with red hair strokes. To add a pop of color to the eyes, I'll blend some red pastel on the rest of the lids. And now I highlight the nose by adding a little dot on the tip with white pencil, and then some white pastel on top of it, and also on the bridge right between the eyes. Off camera I'll add some bottom lashes and seal the dollar one last time. And time for the reveal! Not gonna lie, she looks very good. Time to pop those eyes with really fluffy lashes. Now for the outfit. I made these patterns for the top of the dress that I cut out of this beige fabric. I sewed the darts off camera and now I'm going to sew the sides together. Also, I cut this part out of another fabric that I tie-dyed to resemble the cream and the strawberries. And I'm sewing this piece on top of it.
For the skirt, I did a basic pattern and cut it out of the same tie dye fabric. And to add some sass to the dress, I cut a circle strip, also the hem of camera, and sew it as a peplum to the dress. And well, off camera, it is said that one peplum wasn't enough. For the accessories, I'm giving her a beret. First, I made a circular pattern with a cut on the middle. I tight bleached this red fabric. I cut a donut and sewed the inner hem. And I also cut a complete circle. I cut a second circle out of the same fabric from the dress to make the beret a little bit more sturdy. And I'll sew the three layers of camera. For the shoes, I painted red these OMG Royal B booties and I'll add one coat of pearlescent acrylic paint. I'm using red nail polish to paint the red bottoms. And I took my uhu to glue on these tiny half pearl wannabes all over the heel. And I'll do the same on the point of the shoe, but this time with red rhinestones. And with this, she's done. I decided to name her Aria. This was a very express project, but I'm really happy with how she turned out. Repaint dolls with inset eyes is actually really fun. I might do another rainbow high repaint in the future. What do you think about her? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget this was actually a collab, so run and watch the rest of the videos. As always, the links are listed down below on the description box. Each of them did an amazing job. It's always very rewarding to work with such talented artists. And of course, special thanks to Selene for hosting this amazing collaboration. And guys, that's up for today. But as always, don't forget to support the workshop by liking this video. Remember that sharing is caring. Subscribe and turn on all your notifications. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next time. Kiro out.